Books can't solve all your problems alone. Still, just about every smart person you can think of says they're the best foundation for intelligent and successful living. So, if you're coming up on the big 3-0 and feeling like your entrepreneurial destination and journey is far from orderly, you should grab a few books for yourself and read. In this video, I will share with you 9 business books that you should read before age 30. 1. The future is faster than you think. How convergent technologies are transforming business, industries, and our lives. This book by space entrepreneur turned innovation pioneer Peter Diamatis and Stephen Cutler was published in January 2020. This book is a blueprint for how our world will change in response to the next 10 years of rapid technological disruption. Diamandis and Cutler investigate how wave after wave of exponentially accelerating technologies will impact our daily lives and society. They examine what happens as AI, robotics, virtual reality, digital biology and sensors crash into 3D printing, blockchain and global gigabyte networks how these convergences transform today's legacy industries, and what will happen to the way we raise our kids, govern our nations and care for our planet, and even run our businesses. The future is faster than you think. It provides a cautious look at our impending future. Thus, it is a book that every young visionary should read as early as their 20-somethings. 2. Never Split the Difference Negotiating as your life depends on it. Chris Voss, together with Tal Ross, wrote this book in 2016. The authors emphasize that life is a series of negotiations you should be prepared for. Buying a car, negotiating a salary, buying a home, negotiating rent, deliberating your partner, etc. all involves negotiation. Never Split the Difference takes you inside the world of high-stakes negotiations and into Voss's head revealing the skills that helped him and his colleagues succeed where it mattered the most, saving lives. In this practical guide, he shares the nine active principles, counterintuitive tactics and strategies you can use to become more persuasive in both your professional and personal life. This book has the potential to take your emotional intelligence to the next level. Getting the knowledge in it early enough gives you a competitive edge in any discussion. It helps you navigate life and business efficiently. 3. The Smartest Guys in the Room The Astonishing Rise and Scandalous Fall of Enron Bethany McLean and Peter Elkind wrote this book in 2003. It is a real story of Enron's energy trading company, which suddenly collapsed in 2001, leaving pretty much everyone in shock and disbelief. Enron was something like the middleman in the whole process, or you should prefer an intermediary between gas suppliers and buyers. What made the company grow so fast was the plan which emphasized the importance of paying the gas sellers in advance and making a deal to supply the buyers with a new source of energy even before the purchase. Accurately researched and character-driven, Smartest Guys in the Room takes the reader deep into Enron's past and behind the closed doors of private meetings. The book recounts the story of a company that asserted its dominance and wanted to showcase a dose of strength and invulnerability. As such, it is suitable for managers, leaders and students who are in the process of learning. 4. Leadership, Strategy and Tactics Field Manual Ex-U.S. Navy SEAL officer Joko Willink wrote this book in the first month of the year 2020. The book explains how to take leadership theory, quickly translate it into an applicable strategy and then put leadership into action at a tactical level. Leadership, strategy and tactics carefully x-rays and answers questions such as how do you overcome imposter syndrome when you aren't sure you should be leading? As a leader, how do you judiciously dole out punishment? What about a reward? How do you build trust with both your superiors and your subordinates? How do you deliver truthful criticism up and down the chain of command tactically and positively? This book is relevant for every leader and potential leader at any capacity, including businesses, as not only does it make you understand the leadership game, but it also gives insight on how to play the leadership game and win it. 5. Built to Last This book by Jim Collins and Jerry I. Paras was published in 1994. 
It explores what lies behind the extraordinary success of 18 visionary companies and what principles and ideas they used to thrive for a century. In their quest to find out what has helped them stay successful over decades, Collins and Porras conducted a survey among hundreds of CEO of the world's top corporations at the time. Then, they compiled a list of 18 visionary companies. The study was then thoroughly analyzed, investigated and compared with their non-visionary peers for six years to form this beautiful book. Although this book is for everyone who aspires to build a business, medium writer Nicholas Gorky recommends it for the young blood in his 20s who sits on his business idea, not telling anyone and not acting on it out of the fear of failure. Likewise, the 40-something who has the itch to start something new. 6. Business Adventures Bill Gates in an interview once said, Business Adventures remains the best business book I've ever read. American writer and a longtime contributor to the New York Magazine wrote this book in 1969. Business Adventures is about the strengths and weaknesses of leaders in challenging circumstances as well as the particulars of one business or another. The book details 12 critical moments in the American industry, including the rise of Xerox and Piggly Wiggly, the Ford El Sofiasco, and the GE and Texas Gulf Sulphur Sandals. According to Bill Gates, although many of the particulars of business have changed since the book was written, but the fundamentals have not. Thus, even in this present century, the knowledge in the book is still highly useful. This book is one that Bill Gates and even Warren Buffett recommend, and it will give you excellent business insight if you read it before you're 30. 7. Made to Stick Why Some Ideas Survive and Others Die Two brothers, Chip and Dan Heath, authored this book in 2007. In Made to Stick, Chip and Dan Heath reveal the anatomy of ideas that stick and explain ways to make ideas stickier, such as applying the human scale principle, using the Velcro theory of memory, and creating curiosity gaps. They define sticky ideas that are understandable, memorable, and effective in changing thought or behavior, providing insight on this phenomenon and providing help for those bent on creating designs that are sticky. Each chapter of this book is devoted to a particular principle with the authors given context for clarity and understanding, examples and tools to guide the development of a sticky idea. This book is relevant for every young person with great dreams who hopes to make their ideas become a reality. 8. The Passion Economy The New Rules for Thriving in the 21st Century This is a 2020 non-fiction book by a New Yorker economics writer and co-founder of NPR's Planet Money podcast, Adam Davidson. In this book, Davidson asserts that the 21st century economic paradigm offers new ways of making money, new paths towards professional fulfillment and unprecedented opportunities for curious, ambitious individuals to combine the things they love with their careers. He demonstrates how the 20th century economy of scale has given way in this century to an economy of passion. Adam delineates the ground rules of the new economy. He explains that though the adjustment has brought dislocation, confusion, and even panic, these are most often the results of a lack of understanding. Hence, if armed with this knowledge as early as their 20-somethings, young individuals will begin to see how they and their business can succeed in the century according to its terms, intimacy, insight, attention, automation, and of course, passion. 9. The hard thing about hard things is that there are no easy answers. The knowledge contained in this book is far more than a how-to business book. Ben Horowitz, the co-founder of Anderson Horowitz and one of Silicon Valley's most respected and experienced entrepreneurs, wrote this book in 2014. Horowitz offers essential advice and practical wisdom about building and running a startup. The majority of people are not honest about how it is to start a business. They often talk about how great it is to begin a venture, but never about the difficulties involved in it. In this book, Ben Horowitz analyzes the problems that confront leaders every day and shares the insights he has gained from developing, managing, selling, buying, investing in, and supervising technology companies. As a result of his love for music, the author amplifies business lessons with lyrics from his favorite songs, telling it straight 
about everything from firing friends to poaching competitors, cultivating and sustaining a CEO mentality to knowing the right time to cash in. Every individual who has the ambition of becoming an entrepreneur ought to learn from the insights in this book. With the economy and society in flux, this era is one of the most baffling times to enter adulthood in recent history. For you to be less overwhelmed by the challenges you'll face both in your professional and business life, you should develop one habit that has proven to be the bedrock of many great men's success. Read.